Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends. Welcome to JCB Live. This is Wine Style with our wonderful, fabulous chef, Raphael. So today, Raphael, we're going to have an extraordinary diversion. First, we're going to be singing for you with LVE Provence Rosé. So Raphael, you're the one singing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Raphael. Dear friends, today Raphael is turning an age I won't mention because he's making me turning pink so young he is <laughs> and talented. So send him a lot of comments and messages right now. He is turning not even 40. Ooh. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. And it was as if John Legend, G99, were in LA celebrating a year ago his fantastic 40th birthday with LVE. So, dear friends, we're starting with a rosé from Provence because we're going to have something exceptional. Oh, yes. The dish we're going to be bringing today is uh, some Atlantic uh, wild salmon, which is really good, fresh, came today, which is... And why the Atlantic? Because we love that cold Atlantic Ocean, specifically the northern part of it. So when you think about not only the North Sea, but naturally Denmark, Sweden, Norway, this is where this salmon is actually coming from. And you can see the layers... The layers of the marble. That's what we're looking for. You know, nice. We're a big fan because it's a European recipe, dear friends. We're going to dive into the 18th centuries of France. Why 18th century? Because there was a great creation where all the vegetables of the garden came at once. And suddenly we said, what are we going to do with all of them? And what are they, by the way? We're going to make some um, nice ratatouille. We're very lucky to grow these vegetables at Raymond Vineyards. Which is you see everything, every single ingredient that we make, the nice, beautiful ratatouille is in this basket. And, and it's a basket of flavors because ratatouille sounds very south of France, sounds even Basque, which is that southwest part of France. And the French love to mix the vegetables with a lot of the spices and herbs that they find at that season. So it's really a kaleidoscope, it's a representation, it's a painting in the plate of your gardens. And as you look at it, pre-prepared, pre yes. it looks zucchini, eggplant, tomatoes, squash, bell peppers, parsley, thyme, everything. Everything you can imagine. Everything Onions. Basically almost you can find from the garden. And we, I mean, we have the recipe for it. We're gonna be posted it. It's gonna be posted in the, on the video also. And it's gonna be just perfect. So, what is so exciting with Ratatouille, dear friends, you need to think you're in Provence, you're in the south of France, with the wine that we're tasting. You're collecting everything from the garden, you cook it separately for some and all together at the end, and you create the perfect marriage, as if it was made to go with the Syrah, the Grenache, and naturally the saint that really composed this amazing cuvee that we made with John Legend. And can you believe the same dish we are enjoying today? We've had it right on the south of France on the Mediterranean Sea with John. Wow. So I feel, dear friends, you should open as well this beautiful bottle of wine, as you can see, glass top finished, and enjoy a glass of LV Rosé and cook with us. So, Raphael, refreshment, are we going? Let's go. By the way, Raphael, I'm looking at something gorgeous. Oh, yeah. You know, you gotta explain that. I mean, oh, many, many people are vegan. Vegan and gluten free. So, this is, uh, this is one of the recipes that I've been working for a while. And finally, that was my first time making it, and this is the new, beautiful and airy, beautiful, nice bread. It's fluffy, fluffy. it has oxygen, it yeah. breathes. And what makes it 
obviously gluten free. Gluten free, I mean, that I'm using that a Thomas Keller uh, okay. flour. Flour, that's a cup per cup. Right. Which is, I'm, I try other flours, so this just didn't work. And it was like, it doesn't, it didn't rise. And finally, with this one, it's just like super, really, I find out there was super, really nice and fine flour. And it's just. And tight, and it's tight. Nice. It, yes. And it, when you when you uh, put them in the machine, it kind of looks like like fluffy. Like you can see right off the back, like right away, that you're gonna have something amazing. And, and we do. So we will try it. And believe it or not, there's only four 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 simple ingredients. It's just egg, yeast, mm -hmm. and butter, salt, and sugar. So that's fine. Fine. fine, fine. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Just it fits in your hand and the five fingers. I was very impressed hand. with this with this one. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when you make gluten-free bread, it's, it's not crumbles. great and it doesn't taste much. So yours is full of flavor. We'll try it. We'll try it. So before yeah. we move to the red wine, which we're going to try with the salmon, why don't we show our friends how we do it? So for this one, I always like to put a little bit of oil. I'm using some nice olive oil for this uh, dish. So the olive oil is from the Oakville Grocery. Oh, oh, yes. So it's a Napa Valley first press, stone pressed olive oil, which is very, very important to us because you have the highest quality of the oil that will infiltrate gently through the salmon. And always, like, I want to make sure that there's a paper towel on the bottom, make sure it's nice and dry. So if you're going to grill, you make, you're going to make sure it's dry, coated with nice oil. And uh, make sure, because the, what's, what's going to happen, it's going to stick in the, in the grill. And that's what you don't want. Perfect. So I'm going to do some nice salt. And pepper. Since we're grilling, just don't like to put pepper in the, we call it the presentation side. That's you always going to start, presentation side all the time. You got to do two clockwise. I'm going to do at two o'clock. So you do it clockwise? Clockwise, yeah, because you want to get the, the diamond. The diamond. Ah, yeah. the diamond. The diamond. That's why we call it diamond. So that's that one. So this is your grilling pan. You love to use that one. Yeah, this one, you know, I, I like it. This is nice, this is thick uh, cast iron. Yeah. So this one is, uh, it's not like those very thin ones. It's gonna, so that's the best thing. to use. So once you put it like it bends, when you tell it, when it gets like really hot, it kind of bends. So okay. that's what you don't want that to happen. That's not because you're so strong, right? Yeah. I mean, I've been using this one for, I don't know, six, seven well, years already. Well, that looks already, beautiful. You know? So how much time on each side? I would go for at least, I'm in a, a medium heat, at least four minutes each side. On each if side. You want, like, I like it like nice and medium, medium red. You want it melting in a minute. Yes. So what are you preparing next to it? Oh, and this one is, is, I have some nice uh, 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 bourgeois which is the Vermont, it's, uh, I like to start with uh, generous amount of shallots, a little bit of fennel, fennel seed, and a little, a little bit of uh, corn in there, and then you slit it out with a nice, a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, and then you mm -hmm. have some generous amount of Can I try it? I gotta try it. And then of course you finish mm. with uh, you a little bit more lemon. Like you put a little pastis in it. Uh-huh. I can and feel then, it, uh, a little fennel. Yes. Um, so you re reduce your wine, we do the wine, add your cream, and then you put some butter in it and strain it, and that's perfect. You can even, with this recipe, you can even put capers or lemon. Just, if you want to, like, don't want to do capers, just put lemon in there, oh. that's it. Delicious. Well, we have capers if you want. In oh, the we do that, yeah. So, dear friends, look at how gorgeous this is really starting to look like. And look, with a glass of rosé, I don't think there's anything better in the world that are beautiful Atlantic salmon and rosé. So next I'm gonna just switch right here, Patrick, you can stay there. And I hit up some of my ratatouille. So what did you add to the ratatouille for everybody to know how did it get to that stage? So this is, it's, uh, I like to cook it in separate, separate uh, parts and set different stages, which is uh, 
I like to start with a nice hot pan with a lot of space, of course. And then you throw your onions and your eggplant and your garlic all at the same time with with a uh, half a cup of olive oil. Just olive oil is gonna give. And you cook it for how long? Um, and so they're nice and like al, al dente. Uh, the next I do my peppers, peppers and zucchini together. It's just a quick saute because you want the crunchiness of the, of the zucchini and the squash. You don't want to like cook it all at once because if you throw all the vegetables at once, they're gonna get soggy. Yeah. You're still looking for the crunchiness a little bit in there. For sure. And dear friends, as you can see, Rafael, we are using the fantastic Moviel brand. Started in 1830, still part of the same family, the best copper saucepan. And they conduct temperature marvelously, right? Yeah. And they keep it amazingly. So a lot of the top chefs around the planet, as you probably already know, are using those great copper to the point that we decided with La Cornue to make a copper specific piano, as we say, or oven and preparation, so it really matches and it conducts the energy. Because copper adds as well, as a mineral, the best conductivity there is. So you use copper to bring energy as well and simulate energy. Mm. My goodness. So, Abel, did you turn the salmon yet? That's ready. So, I did flip the salmon. My, you just my did. And then now I said, like, I got my nice diamond. Yeah. Crossed already. And then that's it. That's what you're looking for. Wow. And at this point, it's, it's, the, the fish is done. I just kind of, like, heat up my, my uh, ratatouille. We should be ready to play. And you let your bone blow sit on the side. Yeah. You keep ready. it to what temperature? Well, uh, she's, uh, it's so, it's nice and, let me show the consistency. Nice and creamy. Ooh. It doesn't, this one, you can, as long as you don't let it boil, if it has butter, it'll break if you, if you leave it in there, you know? So I gotta be doing what all chef are doing. Please let me know about the acid. It might need a little bit more acid. Mm, we can do, I actually love it. We can put a little splash of wine in there. There's a nice tartness. Well, what about if we venture to put a little LVE? Yes. Shall we do this? Absolutely. Shall I go a little, to a little touch? A little touch. There we go. That's Here great. we go. This is the uniqueness Barbelo with LVE Provence. Dear friends, it's always good. So, do you think it's going to add enough? It's, it's perfect. Let me let, have it in touch. Let me see. Oh, it's perfect. It's making a good difference. More, it was more like, because it didn't give it the time to, if you don't let it burn the alcohol, it's good, but it's, it can be bad too. But at this yes. point, it's just, we just Let me go out. back to it. We the out. moment of truth, dear friends. I'm going to be in front of you. I'm going to dare. Mmm. It's adding a lift. Exactly, right? Mmm. It's amazing, just two big spoons of rosé. So at this point I'm ready to play. I got a beautiful, nice of John Charles collection of Bernardo. Beautiful, nice plate. So for this one, I'm going to put a blanc, a little bit in the bottom. Because I'm I, what I'm looking for, I'm trying to look for a different different colors, right? And I'm staging another wine. There we go. And just put it right there, not too much. We don't serve these portions, we sell quality, not quantity. I love this, and dear friends, my grandmother used to say, you leave the table with a little hunger, so you want to go back to the table. And I think that's very important not to overdo it. Yes. Now she's putting just enough, just right there. And I'm going to finish it with some beautiful, nice uh, basil and parsley oil ah. that I made a um, couple of days ago. So as you see, we have some nice, beautiful curly parsley. 
we combine a lot of the vegetables from all. We have two, three properties, but two of the our properties, we have a beautiful garden. And uh, we're so lucky to have Joe Papa, they, they grow so the amazing. All the best produce all the best. there is. All organic and biodynamic. Exactly. So this one I did a mix of, uh, I start with a nice parsley for the, for the oil. And then I do at the end, I do some uh, fresh basil just to kind of like infuse the flavor because I don't want that to turn black because basil likes to brew sometimes. That's right. So I'm just gonna do nice, nice ali um, uh, of course, in this one for the oil, I use a uh, grape C. It says it's better, much better. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, I love the association of the beautiful deep yellow to the bright green. In many ways, it looks like a neon green almost. So, and this is it, that's it, you know? It's beautiful. And we, we grow some beautiful, nice watermelon radish. I kind of want to put just one slice in there. Okay. Just a little bit on the side. That's a great idea. Oh, looks so beautiful. Nature is giving us the best gift today. So, and this is it. That's your nice... Hey, Rafael. So, I think there's one wine we ought to match it with. And is there anything better than smoked salmon or obviously as today, fresh Atlantic salmon, very gently cooked to go with Pinot Noir from the Russian River? It seems that Pinot, dear friends, was meant to go with salmon. I'm so excited because tonight we're gonna to be enjoying this fabulous ratatouille, the beurre blanc with a little Provence, you know, rosé and with this Pinot Noir from the Loge, which was founded really in 1975 as the winery who really started Pinot Noir in the heart of the Russian River. Made by Brian Maloney, this Pinot follows strictly the Burgundian techniques, which means not only organically farmed and badly farmed, but open top fermented. Very similar to the Beurre Blanc sauce, very gentle fermentation over several weeks, and then we end up with a perfect companion to one of the most fabulous dish ever. So, Rafael, as we're gonna be now oh, celebrating your birthday, as you know, <laughs> it's so good to be finally 29, and we're gonna be enjoying the salmon yep. and great wines, great wines and forward. looking at life of what happened and what is going to happen into the future, right? Beautiful, yeah. So, happy birthday, Rafael. Thank you. And to one of the most gorgeous, simple, elegant, and refined dish. It will make your palate salivate, and you're gonna want more. <laughs> <laughs>